Jude TV runinga inayokusanya kuchambua kupekua na kumpa mtazamaji suluhu dhabiti kwa matatizo yanayokumba jamii kwa jumla hii ni Street TV your imperial and critical online news channel Fellow Kenyans, this morning, millions of educated and hardworking youth woke up unemployed and broke. And this evening, they'll go back to bed still jobless and broke. Our women, our girls, our sisters, our mothers will today still labor like donkeys as they fetch water from dirty rivers. And some are still giving birth by the sides of roads like wild animals and sleeping hungry so that their children can eat a meal. Six years after independence, the dream of a prosperous Kenya, where no one is left behind, where hard work is rewarded fairly and properly, and where dreams come true is still an illusion. I am proud to be a Kenyan, Najivunia Kuam Kenya, but I'm troubled by what I see and view as a disconnect between where we are and where we should be. Many good things have occurred in our country, and I thank the leaders who have guided us up to where we are today. However, truth be told, Kenyans are tired of a system that has over the years let them down. Today, the reality is that Kenyans are fed up. I am fed up, and I know you are fed up. Where did we go wrong? Why have other countries that were at par with, and even some of them poorer than us? Not so long ago, not so long ago, such as South Korea, Singapore, Thailand, Malaysia, and even Croatia, now way richer than us. You know, Kenya is a great country, and God loves us. But our style of politics and the way we choose leaders has made us continue to suffer. We have become a country of a few billionaires and millions of poor, struggling, unemployed, and desperate youth. You know, in the last one year, I have received visits and messages from Kenyans from all over our beautiful land. My Mandeleo Chap Chap Party members from all over Kenya and members of other political parties have told me to mechoka. To mechoka na tama, to mechoka na political arrogance, to mechoka kupangiwa kwa mistari wa kabila huku wa chacha wa kiiba. To mechoka kuwa bila pesa na tumaini, to mechoka na tunataka mabadiliko. It is time for Kenya to usher in a new dispensation, a new era, a new period of better leadership and life. We need a new way of thinking, of doing things, and a new type of leaders. You know, at independence, our parents, our freedom fighters, wept with joy as they watched our flag rise and that of the colonial powers come down. We were hopeful. We told ourselves that we'll be rich, we'll be developed, we'll be happy. However, the tears of joy at independence have become tears of pain and agony. Our eyes no longer sparkle with hope but are clouded with confusion and fear. The Kenyan computer has frozen. Computer ya Kenya imehang and needs a reset, a reboot. We need to start afresh. We need to change the way things are done and the way leaders serve. We need something new, a fresh movement. If we don't, 50 years from today, we'll be making the same mistakes and asking the same questions we are asking today while languishing in poverty as the rest of the world leaves us behind. My friends, I have organized about the pain and the political circus going on in our country. I have listened to the voices of Kenyans who have met me and prayed to God for a way to bring back hope to you and all Kenyans. I, therefore, declare that in the general elections of 2022, I, your son, your brother, one of you, Alfred Nganga Mutua, will vie to be the next president of the Republic of Kenya, so as to return Kenya to the railway tracks of where we were meant to be after independence. I am ready to press that free boot button. I am ready to give Kenya a new, fair, organized, caring, rich country of happy people. I am ready to guide Kenya in making a fresh start. I'm ready to be your servant president 
and I humbly request you for your support. When you support me, you'll be supporting somebody who is tried and tested. I have been blessed to have both local and international experience and I understand the dynamics of governance and real development. I know what works and what does not work in Kenya and I know how to change it. Kenya needs a young, dynamic, innovative, but mature leader, a person who understands the system but is not captive of the system. Kenyans do not want siyase amdomo. Kenyans want a doer. We are tired of government plans that never get implemented. As the president of Kenya, I will create five million jobs in the first three years. I know how to. I will build roads and highways in every constituency and maintain new ones to create an environment for growth. Our education will produce young and dynamic citizens who will find jobs waiting for them. We will roll back poverty and restore dignity to all, regardless of where you are born or your social or political dispensation. I will eliminate bureaucracy, cut wastage, and enable our business community to thrive in a predictable environment that rewards success, not corruption. Under my leadership, for example, you will only require 14 days to get your licenses and approvals to start your business. Under my watch, politicians will never again steal public land and sell the same land back to government. Fellow Kenyans, we cannot continue to have a cycle of election violence every four years. We cannot continue with politics of mobilizing against each other and against other tribes. This must come to an end. My politics, my politics are about mobilizing the economy and against poverty. We need to start afresh. We cannot continue the shame of hunger in a country with so much food. We need to start afresh. We cannot continue to be in a country where our cash crops no longer give farmers cash. We need to start afresh. Kenyans want a doer, not a talker. And I assure you, mambo yatakuwa fresh na mutua. Let me ask you a few questions. Are you happy with the way things are going on in our country, Kenya? Is Kenya a fair country where you are treated equally when you seek opportunities and jobs? Are you okay with your security and that of your family and friends? Are you happy with the selfish politics and the normal back and forth? I bet you have answered no to those questions. This is because, tell you the truth, things are not right and will never be right unless we change the leaders who lead us. We need to start afresh. We are at a crossroad, my people. The development and future of our lives is in our hands. We cannot continue being a country with so much brain power, so many human and so much human and physical resources, so many blessings by God and continue to suffer every day. We truly need a fresh start. We need a country of rule of law and order and of security where our mothers, sisters can walk in the middle of the night without fear of being raped or being killed. We need a fresh start. We need a country where we do not borrow to steal we need a fresh start. Kenyans want a leader who does not have baggage, a leader who is not divisive, a leader who does not hold grudges, a leader who will move with all Kenyans despite their tribal, regional, economic, and social status, a leader who wants everyone to make money where you are and where you are rewarded. And I tell you, I believe with God's help, I am that kind of leader and I'm going to be that type of leader. Mambo yatakuwa fresh na mutua. Let me tell you a short story. Recently, while I was in Malindi, I was stopped by a mzee called Mokaya, who as a parent has six children. All his children have degrees and diplomas. Well educated. He told me he has sacrificed his life to give education to his children. He has sold his land and everything he had to educate them. However, despite his sacrifices as a parent, out of the six children, none is employed. They are still depending on him. Mse Mokai is confused and has been worried for a while, but is now becoming scared. Because if anything happens to him, there is no hope ahead for us in Kenya or for his children and his family. Every time he turns on the radio and watches TV and sees newspaper headlines, he sees the same people squabbling and general selfish confusion. Mse Mokai's life is not unique but is what millions are experiencing in Kenya. With a fresh movement, there is no region in Kenya that cannot be developed 
and cannot become an industrial and economic center. We have the ability to put up factories and economic zones that will attract trillions of shillings. No one will be left behind. Now, our youth. Namskize. We are the majority in our country, yet we are the poorest and the most desperate. Kenya will not change unless you, each one of us, man, woman, single, married, rise up and demand a fresh Kenya. The fresh movement is for you and your parents who have suffered enough. You know, it's, it's a shame. Why is it that youth your age in other countries with fewer resources than Kenya are driving cars, having a good life, while you're here in Kenya and you're broke and jobless, as other people steal your money and livelihood? Do not be spectators. Do not be spectators as your life is being messed up. You are a force to reckon with. You are the fresh movement for fresh thinking and fresh action. Watch and watch show. Kenya, Sio ya Mbabazu, wanaoka kwa kamati ufisadi, wakisikiza turu zimba Japani. Tukiwa show, ati grafietu haina kibali, hakuna kazi, wana to dismiss, kalale. Sisi sio wapenzi, watazamaji, maishi yetu, sio ya bahati, wakiuliza, sisi ni wanani, tuwa show ya kwamba, sisi ni wa yule yule, mama, baba, jamaa, mrembo, mtoto, ambayo umempiga kiboko ya mateso. Mastingo yenu ya mefika kikomo. Sasa ni wakati wa fresh. Uwe Mukami au Mwikali, uwe Suzana au Katerina, Jerry au Lawino, Fatma au Wafula, wewe ni Mkenya. Dondoka juu mambo ni fresh na mutua. Wakifunga, tutafungua. Wakipanga, tutapangua. Sasa extravaganza ni ya fresh. Mambo ni fresh na mutua. Finally, fellow Kenyans, I wish to recognize and thank the leaders who have brought us this far. Thank you, Mzee Jomo Kinyata. Thank you, Daniel Arap Moy. Thank you, Mwai Kibaki. Thank you, Raila Odinga. And thank you, Uhuru Mwigei Kinyata. We respect you and others and appreciate your contributions. Our independence heroes, you gave us political freedom and democracy. It is now time for economic freedom with Alfred Mutua, a safe pair of hands. You know, the message carried by the wind from the northern town of Likochogio to the southern tip of Lungalunga, from the top of Mount Kenya in Nanyuki and Meru to the coastal land of Malindi, from the forest of Kakamega to the plains of Ijara, from the village home of Zemokai and his wife Kamboka in Kisi to my birthplace in Machakos, Makweni and Kitui, is that Kenya can be better than it is today. We can be very, very rich, but we need a fresh movement. I will travel across the country on listening tours to enrich my bold vision and to hear your ideas as I find out what I can do for you when by God's grace and your vote, I'll be the